Hey friends, welcome back to the microgreen dungeon. I'm growing in soil uh, with this um, batch and I'm doing an experiment to see how many times I can replant into the same soil. In the past I would have thrown the, the soil out into the compost pile uh, after I harvested a, a batch of microgreens. Now I'm trying to reuse it and see how many times I can reuse it. I'm also trying to uh, water the plants only every three days. And uh, the idea is that I only have to take care of them every third day. But you see that uh, I have some, uh, one corner dried out there, so that's a little bit of a challenge. All right, let's harvest. All right, that's a harvest. And this is what it looks like after the harvest. 270 grams of broccoli microgreens. I had to really stuff them in. That's a uh, one liter deli container. The next step is to cut the vegetation down to the soil level. And uh, this is an angled embroidery shears. Uh, it works, it's, uh, it's nice that it has that uh, angled drop. I'm kind of copying uh, the YouTube channel Papa Blue Shirt. Uh, if you look at that, you'll see what he's doing. Uh, so I need to mow this down to ground level now. So this is a little bit tedious to cut with this, but it only takes about five minutes. Um, now I have this debris. I could remove that debris and put it on the compost pile, but instead I'm going to leave it in the tray. Uh, that's, once again, this is an experiment. I'm not uh, going to be surprised if this fails, and actually I think it's a matter of time until it does fail and failure probably means mold or uh, some other uh, pest that causes problems. So uh, that's the bed that I'm going to seed on next. So here is 50 milliliters of broccoli seed which I'm going to scatter into this tray. The tray is seeded and I'm going to add some water. There is residual water in the tray. Uh, I'm going to add 700 milliliters or maybe 800 milliliters of water to the tray. So I didn't add quite all. I would say uh, this is 700 milliliters that I added, but uh, you know, depending how, on how wet the tray soil is already, um, generally it would be between 500 and 700 milliliters that I would add. And now I use a spray wand uh, just to make sure the seeds are soaked and to get the whole thing started. That's about it. So now I'm putting uh, this in the rack and I will cover it with an inverted um, tray just like this one. And in fact my next batch is right here. Um, and I will pull that out and show it to you. Before I move on from this last batch that I just seeded, I did put a uh, date tag. That's the date that I seeded. And here we have um, this has been seeded on a uh, soil bed that was trimmed and cut in the way that I just showed you. Um, you can see some of the green uh, plants that are there are probably from the last batch. But uh, I just uncovered that. It has been uh, six days from seeding. 
And now I'm going to check for water and put this under the lights. And uh, in three days, this will be harvested. So I added 700 milliliters. Of course, that depends on how much water is in there. I always lift it to uh, kind of gauge how much, how wet the soil is. And that should be ready to go for the next uh, three days. It will be harvested in three days. Hopefully I won't have to water it uh, until then. So basically, I only have to work every three days on this uh, microgreen garden. This is another batch. This was seeded three days ago. You can see that I did not do a very good job of uh, mowing, trimming the uh, greenery down to the soil level. Um, and the new sprouts are coming up, but there are many green microgreens that are still alive, apparently. So I'm going to water this by weight. I'll give it a couple hundred milliliters, um, probably not 700. And uh, then I will put the cover back on that. I'm using an inverted, non-perforated tray as a blackout dome. And um, when I get this watered, I will put it back on the dark shelf. And here it is back uh, in the dark shelf. And I will cover it. And there we are. This is three days from seeding. This was seeded today. Oops. And this is six days from seeding. And in three days, I will be able to harvest it. And uh, that is my current experiment. Uh, three day cycle and reusing the uh, soil as often as I can. Thank you for watching.